Digital Twins at Atlas. This movie is broken into three parts. The first part of the process is Digital Twin Capture. Total Station and LiDAR. A control network is established on site using a total station. The control network is used to improve the registration accuracy of the LiDAR scans and is standard survey practice. Laser scanning, also known as LiDAR, is used to create large point clouds. These laser point clouds are later used in the reconstruction process for creating intelligent CAD models and for creating photogrammetry models. Atlas has many years of experience scanning as-built geometry using survey methods as well as laser scanning. Aerial Photography The emphasis for aerial photography is on autonomous flight. Autonomous flight allows for precision photo overlap. Atlas pilots are trained to use the autonomous capability of all the latest drones. The selection of drones is varied and among others include the Intel Falcon 8 Plus, the DJI Matrice and Mavic, as well as the Elias. Atlas pilots are also trained to use manual flying using the appropriate photo overlap where autonomous flight is not possible. A number of these drones have powerful cameras that are able to observe assets from large standoff distances. By enabling remote visual inspection in any indoor environment, Ilios prevents the need for workers to enter hazardous places or face dangerous situations. Photogrammetry may also be performed using video footage such as that taken by the Ilios drone. Terrestrial Photography Atlas is able to design and build photogrammetry hardware for specific client problems. Atlas technicians are also trained in the use of robotic equipment such as the GE Bike and the GE Fast. These platforms are able to handle a large variety of inspection equipment including specialized camera systems. Once capture is complete, the next stage in the process is reconstruction. Atlas has many years of experience turning point clouds into intelligent CAD models using products such as Aviva PDMS. These intelligent CAD models are backed by databases and typically involve the development of catalogues using information provided by clients such as pipe schedules, PIDs, ISOs and GAs. Photogrammetry. A good photogrammetry model involves the capture of large number of photographs with a high amount of overlap. Precision overlap is important and may be achieved by the use of autonomous drones. Once the photographs have been captured, the software engineer uses the data to first mesh 
and then texture the models. The model quality depends on many factors. These include the quality of the camera, the resolution of the photographs, the standoff distance to the object, as well as the number of photographs and the amount of overlap. The third and final part of the process is the viewing of the models. Dependent on the client requirements, Atlas makes use of standard off-the-shelf viewing applications. When none of the standard off-the-shelf viewer applications are able to meet all of the client's requirements, Atlas is also able to engage its own unique viewer. This viewer is called Atlas Vision and is developed in Unity using c -sharp software. Atlas Vision has been developed with virtual reality in mind, but also works on desktops and tablets. The viewer is able to switch between intelligent CAD models and photogrammetry models. The viewer also has the capability to recall one photo among hundreds of thousands of photos by clicking somewhere on the model. The model or any of the photographs may be tagged by a list provided by the client in Excel format. Ultimately, Atlas sees Atlas Vision as a strategy towards inspection from the office as opposed to inspection on site. Atlas has been able to push photogrammetry further than most. Some of these examples include textures with feature details smaller than half a millimeter in size. Using the latest virtual reality hardware, such as the Vajo headset, it is becoming increasingly difficult to distinguish between reality and these digital twins. Thank you for watching and please contact us if you have further questions.